George W. Lee, a Baptist minister and grocery store owner, was assassinated on May 7, 1955 in Belzona, Mississippi for organizing blacks to vote. He was 51. Jimmy Lee Jackson, a deacon and activist, was killed trying to protect his mother from being beaten after a peaceful voting rights march. Jackson was shot in the stomach by an Alabama state trooper on February 18, 1965 in Marion, Alabama. He was 26. Denver Smith, one of two Southern University students killed on the Baton Rouge, Louisiana campus while peacefully protesting against university policies and administrators on November 16, 1972. He was 20. Leonard Brown was the other student killed during the demonstration. Law enforcement officials threw tear gas containers at the students, and some students threw them back. As the unarmed students ran away from law enforcement, they fired into the crowd. Brown was 20. Michael Stewart, an art student and aspiring model, scrawled graffiti on the walls of a Manhattan subway station. He was beaten into a coma on September 15, 1983 by New York Transit Police and died 13 days later. He was 25. Don Myrick, a saxophonist of Earth, Wind & Fire fame, was fatally shot in his Los Angeles home by a police officer serving a search warrant on July 30th, 1993. Myrick opened the door with a butane lighter that the officer assumed was a gun. He was 53. Henry Glover, a resident of New Orleans, was shot by a New Orleans Police Department officer on September 2nd, 2005, days after Hurricane Katrina. Then, other officers refused to treat Glover. Days later, his charred remains were discovered in a burned-out Chevy on the banks of the Mississippi River. He was 31. Walter Scott, a forklift operator, fled on foot during a daytime traffic stop in North Charleston, South Carolina on April 4, 2015. The officer fired eight rounds as Scott was 15 to 20 feet away. Scott was hit five times, three in the back. He was 50. 